very important click I want to share with all of you, with you. <laughs> uh, welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashiva. Yeah, I have this, uh, this tendency of always saying you guys. I don't know, it just comes out. And then somebody was referring in the comment, hey, I'm not you guys. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> you, because I know each one is watching these, video these videos individually. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to incorporate that. I had a huge click today. Um, I was contemplating on like uh, on various things, and um, Swamiji's teachings are actually very simple. It's as simple as deciding to live and to radiate. Paramashivoham, the space of I am Paramashiva, I am super consciousness. Um, it's as simple as that actually. It's not more complicated than that. Um, what I also saw why I was somebody, so why don't we decide to live Paramashivoham? So uh, this question uh, rose up. And um, see, in some situations, when we tell you you are Paramashiva, you feel empowered and you feel, yes, I'm going to do it, nothing can stop me. But in some situations, when you say Paramashiva, you're like, wow, well, yeah, I, I don't want to face that situation. See, what, one thing I saw, and especially also, see, I'm going to link this with another thing. Um, a lot of abusers, they say that, uh, you know, you, you, when, you, when you follow Swamiji, of course, they don't understand the dimension of loving because uh, that's, devotion is a different space that they do not seem to grasp or want to grasp. And... Uh, and they say, you know, you lose your self-sovereignty, your critical thinking. They have different arguments. And basically, you lose yourself, right? Your individuality, your, your, you lose that. Um, and then you become brainwashed. That's their argument to justify uh, saying that we are brainwashed. Or at least one of these arguments. But it's the main component of it. So... Um, Yes. In many situations, you can see this, um, especially today. I mean, especially today. I don't know. I'm only living today. So, <laughs> so today we can see that in many situations, some people will say, oh, you know, I have the freedom to express myself. I have the right to say what I think. I have the right to respond to a situation the way I want. Nobody can stop me. Nobody can control me. Nobody can. This kind of ideas, this kind of thought currents we have. But what I saw is that when we are established in that thought current, we fail to remember that the person in front of us can also respond the way he wants. He can also, you know, the same freedom happens on the other side, where most of the time we want that freedom for ourselves. But when others respond to us from the same space of freedom, we, we distance ourselves, right? We don't, want to, we don't want to take responsibility for the response that we get on the other side. And also, I kind of realized that I saw that when we are in the space of I want to express myself the way I want, we, uh, we, we forget the person in front of us. And what happens is when you forget the person in front of us, you, we become insensitive to the person in front of us. And when we become insensitive to the person in front of us, then we lose the space of listening and we will not engage with that person, we will not relate to that person or situation in a proper way. And that is where egos get triggered, right? The ego, the, see, the decision of I want to express myself the way I want, that is an ego decision, ego-based thought current. If we engage with that, with others, then automatically the ego and the other person will be triggered and they will respond from their space of ego. But when we remain in the space of listening, um, that doesn't mean that we cannot express ourselves the way we want, but we should always do it while remembering that there's a person in front of us and the space that this person is into, so that we can mutually respect the space and not establish ourselves in the space of ego and trigger the ego response in, front, uh, in the person in front of us. So, so it's very important. When we live, what I saw is when we live Paramashivoham, sometimes I feel that we associate 
Um, I personally in the past have associated this uh, Paramashivam thought current or I should say powerful cognition um, to just, you know, I want to express myself the way I want. But I, I could see that uh, now when I was reliving this and looking into it, I can see how insensitive I am to the person in front of me. And every time I, I responded to life in that way, in the way I wanted, under the name of Paramashivam, what I understood as the space of Paramashivam, and the person responded me in the way that I did not agree with, then I withdrew. I did not take responsibility for the response and continue to engage with the situation and bring completion to the situation. I, whatever, I just quickly got myself out of the situation. I withdrew and then I started to having completions with the idea that I am Paramashivoham. But the problem is Paramashivoham is not the problem. The problem is I associated my incomplete thought current to Paramashivoham, to the space of Paramashivoham. It is my association which was wrong. It is not the space of Paramashivoham. So afterwards, I was having resistances to engage from the space of what I considered Paramashivoham but it was not the true space. So that's why, um, that's why now I understand why Swamiji is saying, you know, you have to engage with others, relate to others. And the more you do that, the more you learn how to be in the space of listening and not in your, you know, in your space of uh, me, myself and I, and then become completely insensitive to everything around us and just unconsciously just um, regurgitate our pain patterns and uh, unfulfilled emotions. So um, that's what I want to share in this video. So always, it's very simple. Just decide to live Paramashivoham. And whatever comes, whatever decision I make, you make, always see when the response comes, we have to take responsibility for the response. And bring the whole situation to completion, to the space of unclutching so that both of the beings are fulfilled at the end of the relationship. So that's what I want to share in this video. Uh, if you have any clicks about that, please share below. Thanking you again for, uh, or for you for watching. And again, if you feel that some of these videos might answer some of the questions you get from people, feel free to share the link so that people can watch these videos as well. And start to uh, you know, realize that Swamiji, what Swamiji is doing is amazing. Um, also make videos. I mean, if you, if, you, if you want to make videos, make videos. Share how Swamiji has contributed to your life and the kind of maturity that Swamiji is allowing to blossom is uh, into his disciples. So with this, um, like, subscribe, click the bell icon if that's not already done. Um, I upload many times a day, so keep that as a, a, a... What's the expression? I lost the expression. Just you can always remember that. Can take it for granted um, and i'll see you guys in the next video